Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 22. I mean Episode 23. The Earth and Gohan in dire peril. Come quick, Son Goku. Now, in this episode of Dragon Ball Super, uh, not a lot actually happened. A couple of things did happen, but the story did somewhat progress, but not majorly. So, what happened in this episode? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, Piccolo died. I feel like that is a pretty major change. This is arguably the biggest change in the entire arc so far. Piccolo is dead. Now, I did find it pretty funny, though, how the second Goku shows up, he just looks at Gohan, he's like, we'll bring him back when you're back in Dragon Ball. Now, I did notice that in this episode, Goku was a little bit, like, bipolar. Like, his emotion changed. He arrived, he had this pissed off, furious look. Like, this look that says, Frieza, I'm gonna fuck you up. He was so angry when he gets there, but then he leaves. Then he goes and then he then when then with Vegeta, who had, who killed Ginyu, and when Vegeta killed Ginyu, he's fine. He's like, Vegeta, you didn't need to kill him. And then when Frieza talking about his years in hell, Goku's like, I don't know and I don't care. Like his emotions do change a lot during this episode, and I thought that was very weird. But it was funny nonetheless. So, that was funny, and Piccolo dying was really cool. But, I was not happy with Goku and Vegeta leaving the training room, and I'm getting no information. We don't know how long they were in there, in that room time. That room uh, is obviously like the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, or the Room in Spirit in Time, which I will be referring to it as. Now, like the Room in Spirit in Time... It appeared, but when the amount of time that passes outside is not the same the amount of time that passes inside. Just add, like the room in period of time, a day on the outside is a year on the inside. This is obviously the same case, but we are giving the information here. That bothered me. Now, it is very possible that we're going to get the information later, when, you know, maybe when we see all the fighters from, from a universe this dark, you, you know what I'm talking, manga readers know what I'm talking about. When, when those characters are training, if they, you know, they either need to train to get stronger, and they're probably going to train in there. Right? And maybe we'll get the information then. But another point I want to make is that apparently we can heal people now. Yeah, because, so what happens is Beerus is complaining that he doesn't have pizza, that they're out of the pizza. And we need his staff to contact Bulma. So, what did he do? He takes Goku and Vegeta out of the dimension, gets the staff, and he realizes and then he checks, they're all out of pizza, Goku and Vegeta ate it all. But, what happens now, and this bothers me tremendously, guys. I'm gonna get them hate for saying this, I'm probably gonna get them hate for it, but when, but I really fucking hate Wei Sealy. I really, it doesn't, it, you're making him too overpowered. He can turn back time. Heal, he can turn back time. He can heal people. He, 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 he bears it, he, he, the strongest character in the series. All of this? Did you just want to make it? And Vados is supposed to be stronger than him? Like, what the fuck? How strong is the guy? You can't make a guy too powerful. Otherwise, you end up like fucking Superman. But... And you, I guess you could say that was pretty entertaining. The episode, and so then what happens is, Beer, Whis calls Earth, and he starts asking about what's going on. You know what I mean? He, you know, he, he's asking why Bulma was so concerned when she offered him the food. She gets them information about Frieza. I noticed something different this time, though. Last time, everybody heard Whis talking. This time, only Bulma was talking to Whis. That was weird. But, so Goku, or, so Go, what happens then is, because Piccolo is de uh, dead on the ground, Gohan gets really pissed off, and starts charging his key. Like, he starts screaming to the heaven. He really pissed. It appears he even goes mystic for a minute, and he gets Goku a power level to log on to. Goku then uses his instantaneous movement, or instant transmission, to transport him himself and Vegeta to Earth, 
and he just easily just left the death scene that Frieza had fired at Gohan. Now, something about this did bother me, and that was that Goku just deflects it. But the way he deflects it, I really didn't like. I thought like it would have been cooler if he would have shown up and like used like his hand. But that thing used his finger kind of bothered me. I understand why it was done. It was to demonstrate Goku's power. I just didn't like it. However, what happens next is honestly one of the best part, one of the saddest parts of the thing. They just make Gohan look like even more of a pussy by having Gohan say, "If only I had trained, I could have protected Piccolo and everyone else." That is their way of saying, guys, that Gohan could have protect, could have stopped those attacks. They are pretty much in line that Gohan could have handled it, but he had to be a fuckboy. And not train. Now, I believe this may make Gohan start training again. And that will be awesome. I actually made, I'm planning to try to up my Dragon Ball content, and I made you a video on why Gohan, about Gohan and him starting to train again. But, there is something else I want to quickly mention. Before I really end it. Was that, after Goku and Vegeta arrive at the 11 minute, around the 11 minute mark, the episode does go down in quality in terms of pacing. It really does. Because what happened is Vegeta appeared in front of Ginyu and killed him. He Vegeta one shot Ginyu and then Frieza decided to transform into a final form. None of this would bother me at all. And it wasn't just that that after Vegeta killed Frieza after Vegeta killed Ginyu, everything goes to shit. It, everything literally goes to shit. Because they, it's just them talking for like 10 minutes. It's literally just 10 minutes. And it's not even useful information. Goku does make some pretty obnoxious comments. But overall, you know, it was a good episode. As I said, not much happened. If I could summarize what happened in this episode in a couple of words, I'll do that now. Piccolo died. Gohan got pissed off. Goku and Vegeta arrived. Free the transformed. And the fight starts. Five things happened in this episode, but none of them were, like, gigantic. Now, but in the next episode, Goku gonna go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue. Or Super Saiyan Blue. Whatever you want to call it. But, guy, if I had to rate this episode, I would rate it, you know what? An 8 out of 10. I'm giving this episode an 8 out of 10. Because the animation was good, the voice acting was good, and the first 11 minutes of the episode had amazing pacing. But the, the, the quality went down after 11 minutes, but it was still really entertaining. And guys, I hope you enjoyed my review for episode 23 of Dragon Ball Super. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.